Indeed, the only photo that Together for Safety offer as proof is from last year and it features four women standing outside the maternity hospital. One of the women has a love both umbrella and three of the women look like they are engaging with or talking to the woman whose face is blurred out. Well, it all seemed a little suspect to me, so I decided to conduct my own fringe investigation to see if I could catch these abusive protesters in the act. You know, to see if I could actually produce that missing evidence. I began my surveillance of the maternity hospital early on Wednesday morning, and between the hours of 9 and 10, I noticed what, together for safety might call, some highly suspicious activity. The two suspects were making their way towards the hospital entrance, and one of them was brandishing what labours Ivana Batchik and Sinn Féin's Martin Gavin might call a deadly weapon. No doubt swinging around to try and intimidate the pregnant people as they tried to make their way to the hospital. Should I call the guards, or should I get in touch with together for safety? I didn't know what to do. I was so paralysed of fear, I just stood there and watched. Oh no, I think they're going to attack that woman. Whew, she got away. <laughs> Looks like they might be doubling back to make an attack. Too risky, so they give her a pass and continue on their way to find someone else to harass and intimidate. Oh no, I think they see me! Won't someone please call together for safety and get me out of here? As they made their way around the corner and away from me, I breathed a sigh of relief. Oh. It was all quiet for about an hour. Then, between 11am and 12pm, it all kicked off again. Just look at these two shady characters, both in disguise, trying to hide their identity and brandishing the same weapons. Look at this, they're using secret code to communicate. <laughs> Having witnessed the morning's carnage, I knew what to expect. Was this one of the pregnant people? Are they going to attack her? No. She had a lucky escape. Just like the previous protesters, they doubled back and scanned the area looking for pregnant people to harass and intimidate. Now before you say, Carl, you coward, you just stood there and watched, you'll be glad to know that I overcame my fear just in time. But when I went to call together for safety, I discovered I had no credit. So I did the next best thing and ran after those women and confronted them before they could flee the scene. It was time for some answers and to find out what really happened. Now, you're, you're, you're praying the rosary outside here, outside the maternity hospital. Yes. Is this a protest? Absolutely not. Uh, Mita and I come um, every week on a Wednesday, as it turned out now. But we come here in solidarity with the unborn who are being, whose lives have been taken, you know. So that's what we come and we, we just pray the rosary and um, just for intercession for those who are being killed. Yes. We also intercede for mothers. Sometimes they come and ask us for prayer. And sometimes the fathers who are expecting babies in the maternity. And do, do and you... Uh, if do they you... ask us, we pray with them or pray for them. We pray for them anyway, we pray for all the babies who are going to be born. And do you ask, uh, do you approach people as you're going around with the oh, Rose Street you, when you're no, praying? Do you approach don't. people? Or? Actually, as people pass us, we tend to quieten. I mean, we're not in any way shouting out prayers or anything. But we believe in prayer. Um, and for that reason, we just walk around the hospital, you know, in solidarity. But sometimes 
people have seen us and mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, I think it's happened more to you than to me even. Yeah, well think. I've seen uh, like some people upset, a young couple upset and really crying bitterly. And we just asked them could we do anything or help them. Like the prayer, they said yes, they were, and, you know, they're worrying about their baby. That maybe there's some problem or something in the pregnancy or whatever. And they're always so happy that we pray for them or with them. Yeah, it's nothing to do with the abortion, that, and, that, yeah. is, that people would... I mean, we believe very much in the right to life as well for every every uh, baby. Yeah. The accusation has been made that uh, you have inside information that you're out here uh, protesting knowing that there's abortions going on inside, that they, apparently they only take place at certain times of the week All and right. that you have prior knowledge is what she's saying. Well, I personally have absolutely no knowledge of when abortions are taking place and I haven't been in touch with any staff member. I don't think you have either. No, no, no I So we're not aware of that. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. But I would like to say this is a, a hospital approved for abortion, so therefore we know abortions are taking place here. Otherwise, uh, exactly. you know, what was the referendum and they, we know the hospitals that have been approved for abortion. That's a fact. Also, there's many, many patients coming in here to have their babies who are very, very unhappy that they have to have a baby and their husband has been killed. You know, and they're not happy about that. Yeah. And they do not like to even have a doctor who's come who's killing babies to perform their, uh, you know, deliver their babies. Absolutely. Yeah, and it must be remembered too, Colin, you know this, that um, the hospital said they had no problem with the people walking up and down, like that they weren't aware of any protest and there was nobody being harassed or anything. Yeah. And we know 100% that it is true. But maybe there are a few local politicians who are hoping to create a storm in a teacup for their own reasons. For example, we heard that, the, I'm not even 100% sure this is true, but that the council voted against, you know, for, in favour of um, a protective zone around the hospital. But you must remember what way a given councillor puts the question to the council. Perhaps they can say, are you in favour of harassing patients being harassed outside the hospital? We wouldn't be in favour of patients we being don't harass harassed. Anyone. We yeah. don't dream of it. We don't no ask anyone what. where they're going and what yeah. they're going And we stand for, for the welfare going. of all those people, even those who are contemplating abortion. I mean, given the atmosphere that's surrounding them now, do you know, we pray for them that they'll come to a good conclusion because many of those things happen and there's huge regret and huge mental repercussions for people later on. So we, we stand for life, for goodness for everybody and for well-being for everybody. So that's why we are here. So it's not very um, exotic, it's just very... Plain. We know that for the I think great majority of people who have abortions totally regret it afterwards. Many of their lives go totally astray afterwards. You know, between drugs or alcohol, some people even take their own lives. We know all these for facts. We pray for everyone. We pray yeah. for the doctors, everyone who's involved in the abortion, all the people in town have their babies. There's lots of people who have difficult pregnancies now and difficult labours and have big worries about the concern of their babies sometimes, about their their lives, if they'll be born healthy or if they'll be born too early to survive, all kinds of things. This is a normal part of maternity, you know. I, I've yeah. done midwifery, I was a midwife. Oh. That was Antoinette and Meta, two lovely and devout ladies. It really is impossible to imagine how anyone in their right mind could claim to be frightened and intimidated by them as they quietly prayed the rosary while walking around the perimeter of the maternity hospital. I also spoke with Olive and Deirdre. Olive is the woman whose face was blotted out in Together for Safety's one and only photo of what the rabidly pro-abortion group like to call a protest. The photo was taken as all four women were about to start their prayers around the hospital perimeter. The two women wearing the Lady of Guadalupe jackets are nuns from the Philippines that were visiting Limerick last summer. Olive and Deirdre, you've both seen the statements made by Together for Safety uh, claiming that you're protesters protesting outside the maternity hospital, that you have inside information that uh, women are having abortions when the abortions are taking place and that you're out here to harass them as they go into the building. Um, have you 
are you make, are you protesting? What exactly are well, you doing no, here? Uh, first and foremost, we most certainly are not protesting. We're here to support any women who are going into this hospital having their babies or if indeed if they're having an abortion we're not supporting them having an abortion obviously we're praying that they might change their minds but we are not protesting we're not stopping them they have their right and we certainly are not stopping them going in uh, we have been doing this now for the last couple of years um, not on, on we, we come on a Wednesday but other people come different days so this, it's, it's not particularly on a Wednesday We've just got a very strong conviction that uh, prayer will help and that's what we're doing here. We're committed Catholics and that's what we're doing. We're praying through the intercession of Our Lady, we're praying the Rosary and we are uh, hoping that through Our Blessed Lady that they will change their minds. And of course you've been doing this long before there was ever abortions carried out in the hospital. Oh absolutely, even before the Eighth Amendment, uh, but of course since the Eighth Amendment was eradicated and the right to life of the unborn child was taken away, uh, you see it's much easier for people now. I mean they can get pills from the doctor, uh, they can do home abortions and of course in the last two years since the actual Eighth Amendment was taken away there have been over 16,000 abortions in Ireland yes. which is absolutely appalling. No, we don't. We don't. Um, we, we just we just pray quietly. We're not silent, but we're we're quiet, uh, and we are not we're not hiding the facts that we're praying. But uh, we are, you know, uh, not uh, certainly uh, approaching anybody. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you know, just there as Olive was saying, like even sometimes Cahill people will actually stop and say to you know and say good and you know they're very affirmative towards us in what we're doing and it's certainly not offensive to anybody we're certainly not judging anybody all we're interested in is the welfare and the well-being of every woman who comes through these uh, these gates and of course you yourself worked as a midwife as a yes, right and i actually worked here as well i worked here in this hospital for five years when, you know, when there was long before um, this new situation ever arrived here. And our whole training and our mindset was all to protect life and to do the best you could for every mother and every baby. And that's all, you know, that's all we want. We, we are not, we're not here to judge anybody or to condemn anybody. We're not here for any of that. We don't say anything to the people going in. We, we're not in your face doing anything. We're quietly praying. We go around the hospital and quietly pray. But sometimes if people, uh, you know, might come up to us and as I say, they're very supportive and, you know, we say things and we have had nobody to say you shouldn't be here because what we're doing, we're basically walking around. We're not stopping anybody. So, um, that is uh, false. Yeah. You know, what was being said is definitely it is absolutely false. It's outright it's lies. Correct. It's outright it's all, lies. It is. Outright it is. lies. And, and, and people sometimes ask us, would we pray for the, the women inside? Or a, particular, a mother might come and say, would you pray for my daughter? She's having her baby today. You know, that sort of thing. A, a very supportive thing like that. Yeah. So that's just a, a little extra aside. <laughs> so listen, thanks very much for talking to me. That's, that's uh, kind of shows that there's no protest you're not protesters like like together for safety portray g in your twitter in their twitter feed and their and in their press statement where they actually used stock footage of another protest trying to claim it was going on outside the hospital this is the level of the lies that they're getting into um councillor Liza donovan of course and councillor connor sheehan and the council of course have been backing safety zones based on those lies Well, you do know that the management of the hospital here have actually come out and said that they had no complaints of any description of harassment of anybody coming. I mean, they actually came out and said that publicly in the paper. So they are saying that. Oh, they're saying that, but yeah. of course the, the, the Limerick Post put it on the front page there before Christmas saying that the, the hospital had, had refused to respond. Well, that's not true. That's not true. That's yeah. not true, yeah. So look, at, um, uh, you know, it's nice to talk to you, Cahill, and we appreciate that you're taking the time to do this uh, in the interests of, of, of unborn babies and their mothers. And thanks very much. Not at all. Thank you for talking to me. Okay. You're welcome, Cahill. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. 
There was absolutely no intimidation and no harassment of women going on outside the maternity hospital in Limerick. Just kind and gentle ladies quietly praying the Holy Rosary for the well-being of mothers and their babies. And for the doctors, midwives and staff members as well. The accusations and claims of Together for Safety are nothing more than outright lies. That was a clip from my forthcoming video, Together for Lies, which will premiere this weekend. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You won't want to miss it. Until then, be seeing you.